the year is 2027, and a once promising nation teeters on the brink of destruction. Three years had passed since the election, which had unleashed a relentless storm upon the land. The people, divided by ideologies, and blinded by fear, had unwittingly handed power to a very right-wing government. Now, the consequences of their choices, have manifested in the form of a brutal civil war, tearing the country apart, and plunging it into an abyss of chaos and despair. Now, a never-ending rumble of explosions echoes through the air, a haunting symphony of ongoing destruction. Harper's hand, instinctively tightens around the hilt of a rusted blade that she now carries, a weapon passed down through generations, a relic of resistance against oppression. As she surveys the ravaged landscape, images flash before her mind's eye, the euphoria of democratic elections, then the creeping rise, of division and extremism, and the violent collision that followed. Her heart ached, for what has been lost, but her resolve remains unyielding. The new government thought they could extinguish the flames of freedom, but they only stoked them higher, and from the ashes of lost freedoms, liberty will once again rise. Harper's journey took her between rows of decaying scrapyard autos, their hulking frames serving as a stark reminder of what once was. The air, now smelled of rust and decay, a melancholic perfume that clung to her every breath. Harper, had been walking for days, searching for answers amidst the remnants of civilization. She moved between the derelict vehicles, a glint of sunlight, reflecting off shattered windshields, caught her eye. Memories of the cataclysm flashed before her, great cities crumbling, flames engulfing the once thriving streets, and people lost in panic. As Harper continued walking, her fingers brushed against the rusted metal of a decaying automobile. She paused, allowing her mind to wander back to a time when vehicles were a symbol of freedom and progress. Now, they were mere carcasses in this forsaken land. She tried to close her eyes briefly, trying to shake off the haunting images of the past. She had seen her world collapse but Harper refused to let it destroy her spirit. Her world had changed so suddenly. Cities crumbled, society collapsed, and chaos reigned. Now, in these dark days, survival has become the only currency. Harper, once an ordinary woman, with hopes and dreams, has now been forced to adapt to this harsh new reality. With each step, the scrubland whispered stories of her past. Harper could almost hear the echoes of laughter, the bustling streets, and the warmth of human connection. But those memories now seem distant, mere whispers in the burnt winds of decay. Harper carried the weight of her memories on her shoulders, a heavy burden that propelled her forward. The weight of what had transpired hung heavy in her heart. She wondered how humanity had come to this point, where destruction had become the norm. Was there any hope left? As the sun began its descent, casting a golden hue across the land, Harper found herself on top of a small hill. She paused, surveying the vast expanse before her. The scrubland stretched endlessly, a testament to the emptiness that surrounded her. Its wind whispered through the parched land, as if urging her to reflect on what had transpired. Her thoughts swirled with a mix of anger and sadness. Harper mourned the loss of what was, but she refused to succumb to its despair. There had to be a way to rebuild, to find purpose, amidst all the wreckage. But visions of destruction still flickered through her mind. Buildings reduced to rubble, flames devouring homes, people fighting, people screaming, and people in their panic just shooting at anything that moves. The world had been consumed by chaos. Had Harper alone emerged from the ashes, a solitary figure, to search for hope? Tears welled up in her eyes, 
a mixture of grief and determination. But deep down, she knew that dwelling on her tranquil past would not change what had happened. Now she had to find the strength, to move forward, to try and build something new from the remnants of what remained. Harper, gazed at the dying light of the sun, its final rays casting long shadows across the landscape. Its barren land whispered, as if it held its own secrets. Harper, stopped and listened, knowing that hope could be found even in the most desolate of places. She walked on, her body weary, but her spirit unyielding. With resolve etched onto her face, she took a deep breath, the air filled with the scent of rust and decay. Harper shouted, her voice carried by the wind, this will not be my end. I will find a way to rebuild, to honor what we have lost. With that vow, Harper resumed her journey, disappearing into the ever-encroaching wilderness. Armed with her sword and the memories of what had been, she forged ahead. Harper's journey would be long and treacherous, as she must now navigate the landscape of a civil war, which is still raging across the country. She must remain determined, to seek out any embers of hope that may still remain within this once great nation.